aspects to it, um, which it is. So largely it is just kind of, well, it's a lot, a lot of parts which are kind of real. But the really, I think the really important part of it is that like, it's not a free form. It's like there are some really specific emotions and ideas that need to be kind of illustrated through. Every, every shell in Afrinor's record that we've done has been driven by a different concept. Flood of the Ancients, we recorded when we were really young. It was the second record that we ever did. It was recorded over about three different sessions that were all quite different. And somehow it all came together because we, for the first time I think, managed to kind of hit on something that, that actually represented us in the music that we were that we were playing. When it came time to do the second record, Quest on the Capricorn, um, we spoke about it a lot, and and uh, I really wanted to do something that was that was bigger and better, and more grandiose maybe, but definitely more textural um, and that kind of really kind of more clearly displayed uh, the, the other kind of the other side of the band, so that kind of uh, deeper uh, harmonic uh, and kind of you know textural sonic space that we were able to create live but hadn't really represented on record. When it came time to do the new, the new album, we, we wanted to do something that kind of honoured both of those sides of the group because we found that we weren't actually playing the material of Quest of the Capricorn Live yeah. because it was a lot slower and it didn't translate as well. And so a lot of that music had, had barely been played. And so we knew that we wanted to do something that, that, that used by the ancients as a jumping off point. But we also knew that we wanted to kind of continue our work, um, or our sound, um, evolve the sound from Quest of the Capricorn. So we decided that the best way to do that was to, was to do a double album that kind of, instead of mixing those two things together, allow those two things that do kind of seem to sit separately in the identity of the band, allow those things to sit side by side but also separately and try to create an album that you could listen to from the start all the way to the end of, of both records as one concept, a kind of evolution through the music or as two products that kind of stand alone uh, in their own right. So for me personally I felt that my uh, my rediscovery of the music of Africa was, was, was kind of a, a big part of this, this record. Uh, I suppose over time, obviously I was born in South Africa, I kind of grew up listening to um, African music, usually from Southern Africa and the guitar work of Southern Africa, um, which was kind of a memory that I have from when I was a child. I started listening to the music of West Africa um, from Guinea and Mali of the 70s. And I was really inspired by that guitar work, and um, that inspired me to, to study um, those guitarists. But also um, compositionally, I, I um, was, was really influenced by by what those bands were doing, both rhythmically and melodically. Is everyone ready to roll one? Yeah. Uh, something we actually talk about a lot is there's a there's a clear line that we want to draw between imitation and interpretation and it's, it's, sometimes it, it can be a bit tricky. I, I think the important thing is we don't want to just sound like the records that we, um, that we love. We actually want to take the, sort of the spirit and the, um, the, the energy behind those, those albums.
one of the, the kind of the things that has been most important to this band from the start is that we've always allowed all of those things to come out and we've always allowed all of those things to come out of each individual in the band and, yeah. and hopefully that's what's good about it. Yeah, yeah I think that's a, a key thing that we have so many members in the band and so many very strong musical personalities. And I think that's I think that's even something we've learned compositionally as we've gone along is to rather than to try and constrain that we you uh, use the use that um, resource that we have in you know the, everyone in the band you know all comes from a different place in what they're doing and I think on the on the freer stuff we did on the second record I think a lot of that really comes out you know look a lot of people whose individual voices are really prominent on a lot of those tracks.